Hey, hey, hey. Time to focus our energy for the week. Come on in. Join us. Hey, Sean. How are you? Come on in and join us. Time to focus energy for the week. I know Super Bowl's going on. How was that Carrie Underwood? Wasn't she amazingly? God, beautiful and powerful. She was really awesome. Very motivational for me. Beautiful. At any rate, it's time to come on in, focus our energy for the week, notice what's going on around you, and set some energy out there for the week ahead. How is everyone tonight? How are you doing? Yes, come on in and join me, Terry Ann Hyman here, Natural Forces Studio and the Empowered Spirit Circle on Facebook. How are you feeling? What is going on for you? Hey, Millie. Hey, Heidi. Thanks for coming in tonight. How has this past week been? Pretty intense, right? Pretty intense. That full moon, the eclipse energy, what have you noticed? All right, we've got all that cosmic mix of energy, the Leo energy, the Aquarian energy, really intense, really asking us to look at our self-worth, really asking us to look at that self-esteem. So where is it for you? Are you getting caught up in it? Are you doubting yourself in everything you're doing? Doing well, a little mentally tired today. All right, Sean, I understand that. I actually woke up about 5 a.m. this morning and felt so much energy moving out. It was really good. Really good. I slept longer, but I did feel a little bit shift of energy. Millie says she's just waking up from a nap. Good. I took a nice hot bath this afternoon. Yes, but I know last week was big energy. and I noticed it really almost did me in, but luckily I have the tools and so can you, right? Have the tools to release, to let go, to chill. That's what we needed. And we actually had an awesome weekend, right? With, with Monique Clark here, we doing the aromatherapy learning. So many oils, so much helping me. Big difference, big shift of energy. I feel so much better and so much more alive. How about you? What have you noticed? We're in February. Yay. February is a two month and it's in a two year. Very interesting energy going on. It's all about co-creating, working with the universe. In fact, it's kind of like a month of love, right? February is. So we're going to really look at that deep part of who we are. We are. I'm going to go ahead and take a moment and share this energy. Whoops, shaking it. If you could do the same for me, just share it out. I'd appreciate it. Just hit that share button. Yeah, maybe you know somebody else that needs a little help. What does Heidi say? Been very stressful all during the week. Very productive today. All right. Yeah, a little rainy day helps us be productive, but I understand that. It's been pretty intense for me all week, too. And luckily, like I said, coming back around to feeling so much more like me, feeling better, feeling more in my energy, feeling more excited about my life. Yeah, we have to find those tools to help us do that, right? We really do. All right, there we go. I got one share here into the Empowered Spirit Circle. If you're not in it, come on on and join us. Come on in. We have things going on in there, talk, we share, we post articles, and I'd love to have you in there as well. All right, one more, gonna share in my feed. There we go. All right, yay, now I'm back. So we've had interesting energy coming forward, that full moon, blue moon, blood moon, however you wanted to look at it, the eclipse. The eclipse shakes it up. And now here we are in the month of February. In February, we do kind of get into some of that love energy. So if we take the energy of Leo, our own self-esteem, our own self-worth, and we come bring it in and we kind of come, um, what's, the, what's the word I'm looking for? We combine it with the energy of love. We start to look at self-love. Where is that self-love for you? It's all, not always about looking outside for love, but really, really pulling it inside ourselves. And that's really what this month we start out at is going to really ask us to do. Where is it for you? Where are you loving yourself? Where are you creating with your own spirit? Where can you do that? Or are you out there reaching out, trying to pull it in? Lots of times when you reach out looking for that kind of satisfaction, that's where the doubt comes in. That's where the fear comes in. That's where we start wondering what is going on. So I, right as we start out this month, we're being asked to really pull that energy back into ourselves. All right, we've got another new moon coming in a week, and we're kind of right there in the middle of that energy. So we're all processing right from the full moon. This is the big week of release. It's also the time to really come and center, center right into that heart energy. You know, how are you noticing that for you? Do you see where the, the energy comes together for you? Or is it still kind of caught there in that self-doubt? Which is it for you? All right, I know for myself, I've had to do a lot of extra work this week to really, really open up my energy, open up my feeling better, my motivation, being really with it with 
self-care. <laughs> and that's where self-love comes in too, being really with it with your own self-love. Very important as we move through this week, all right? We're actually going to be talking about that on my um, show this week on the Empowered Spirit Show. I have a guest coming in, Jacqueline Marie. She's a mentor, a love coach. She's going to really be talking about how do we really get into the deeper part of who we are and how important that is. If we can't love ourselves, right? How can anybody else love us? So we're going to be talking about Wednesday on Wednesday's show, how to really get into those deeper parts, all right? And maybe it's not anything new, but it's like really reinforcing what we do know, going your deeper within, releasing those um, imprints that seem to always track the painful relationships. We're going to be talking about that too. So be sure to join me on Wednesday's show. It goes live Wednesday. You can listen to it. Maybe if you're not familiar with podcasts, you can listen to it on Apple Podcasts, on your Android, any of your favorite apps. You can subscribe on my website. So go in there and just hit that little subscribe button that helps get it out there. Leave me a review. Leave me a comment. I'd love to hear what you have to say. I've kind of re relaunched my podcast, a little new format, new intro and all. I'd love to hear some comments of coming forward. Do you listen? Do you like it? When do you listen? Let me know. I'd love to hear your comments about the show as well. So the one coming up is all about soul love on Wednesday. Tapping into that energy as we move into this cosmic energy with the February energy coming forward for us. So what is it you notice, right, right now? I think it's really important as we move through these cosmic events, align with that energy, that we can open up to that deeper part, that we can release all of that surface stuff and go deeper within. Really important. And when we get caught in that energy of the moon, get caught into all those things that block us, what do you do about that? What do you do? How can you kind of get out of that kind of energy when you're stuck like that? There are a lot of resources, all right? I've talked about it in a few of my other podcasts, building those rituals for yourself, using your breath, using your meditation. And like this weekend, we did a great aroma touch therapy training, and we really were able to work with the body, work with the meridians, work with the essential oils to build the cellular structure. Really important. And I know for me, gosh, like I said this morning, waking up, feeling so much better and who I was, feeling so much more motivated Instead of I was stressed, I was overwhelmed, I was actually even feeling a little bit like, oh, I've had enough, but now I just feel so much better. And a lot of it is the moon, a lot of it is that stress level, and a lot of it is really having the tools that you can get rid of some of that energy and renew and refresh. So as we go into this week, all right, Monday is going to be very productive, so get your work done, listen to that inner guidance, really important. Tuesday's the same thing, very productive energy. Follow your intuition, bring your intuition out into the everyday life, right? Really important. So you do have to be aware, prepare yourself, do your meditations, do your breath work in the morning, but you can get a lot of work done when you really focus, 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 focus as you go into the beginning parts of the week. Now, Wednesday, we start to shift. We start to be halfway between that and that full moon and the new moon next week. All right, and we'll start to notice that, but it's a good time to do a little reflection of energy. Look at where you are, what's going on, right? Because Thursday, you're going to need to slow down a little bit, all right? Otherwise, you're going to get a little reactive. So there again, we use our tools. We come into the way of which we can access that greater part of who we are. So that's going to be Thursday. Friday, even if you start to reflect on Thursday, Friday, you can even find you're feeling a little mellow, right? You're a little calmed down as you move into the work week or to the weekend. So the best week, the best days to get your work done, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, start to kind of take an assessment of what's going on. Be aware. Thursday, we start to pull back and slow down. Friday, we get a little mellow right into the weekend. And then next week, we come into that new moon eclipse energy again. We have a doorway. We have this portal of energy right now. That's exactly where we are right now between the last eclipse and the new eclipse. That doorway is really important. What do we do with the eclipse, right? We talked about this last week. We talked about it on the Empowered Spirit Show. Change. Shift. Open up to those parts of you that you want to bring forward. That's what those portals of eclipse energy do for us. And that's where we are right now, right in the middle of that energy. So we take that knowing of the eclipse. We take that energies of the twos, the master energy we have going forward this year. And now we're in February. We open up that heart energy and we bring it forward to get to know more of who we are at a whole deeper level. I think that's a good way to look at the eclipse for yourself right? And even the cards that came up today, really good for showing us how we can make some of those shifts. All right, so before we get to the cards, let's just take a moment, take all this energy, all this stuff. I get so excited to be on, talk to you guys. And let's just take all that energy and ground it a little bit as we open up to the meditation. 
to focus for this week. So wherever you are, if you can, we'll light a little sage. Sage helps us to clear. Take a nice deep inhale. And exhale out. Listen to the bowl. Help to attune that third eye. This helps us to open up that attunement with the third eye energy. Take a deep inhale. And just exhale out. Grounding the energy. Inhaling. And exhaling. Feel the feet on the earth as we open up to this energy of the cosmics, the moon, the sun, the earth, the alignment, right here in the season of winter, February, opening up and bringing all that energy. Call back your energy right into your heart. Call it back in, inhaling and exhaling. We're still in the season of winter. We honor the direction of the north, the east, the south, and the west, above us, below us, right into the very center, opening up your heart, opening up this week, dropping from the ego, dropping right into the heart, opening up and going deeper within your own spirit, inhaling, and as you exhale, feel the awareness of the heart expanding all around. Good. Inhaling again. Pull your energy back in from the weak. Pull it in. Come into the heart. And as you exhale, open up. Send that heart energy all around. Helps to drop the ego, all the chatter of the mind. Inhaling. And exhaling. Let us just call in a divine guidance. Call in spirit. Call in your teachers. Ask for a productive week. Ask to be guided. Ask for that intuition to be clear and open up as you bring it out into your everyday life. Feel this energy surrounding you as you bring that focus in all the way in. Take another few breaths, inhaling and exhaling. Feel yourself centering, pulling all that scattered energy in, releasing the excess energy down deep into the earth. Feel the feet flat on the floor. Grounding that energy, feeling it opening from the heart right now. Let that heart energy open up for you. Inhaling and exhaling. Bringing your awareness back. Feeling that shift. Focusing in. I know sometimes Sunday night can be a little anxious with the work week ahead of us. This will help to center you. Sometimes that anxiety is just the anticipation, right? So be grounding in our energy, coming into the heart will help some of that anxiety release as we open up to this new week. Coming back. So as I laid out the cards today, maybe you had a chance to draw one. If not, pick a number, one, two, or three. We're picking from the wild unknown, back to the wild unknown. And we draw with a universal card. I'm going to start off first with the universal card, and then the way that the one, two, and three, whichever you picked, feeds into that. All right, so this is for all of us. This universal card is really beautiful. It is the Nine of Cups. Beautiful card. Really pretty. Look at all the colors. Look at that circle. Look at that moon. This card is really a card of wish. It's a card of wish and gratitude. All right. What is it that you want? Feel that energy coming forward. Be really grateful for all those many things right now going on. All right. Nothing lasts forever, right? So as we open up to this energy, the cups are our emotional plane, our heart energy. Perfect timing for February. Just take a moment right now. And offer gratitude to what you have right now. Offer gratitude to that heart in your life. Got a thumbs up for that. All right. Offer gratitude for that. Nothing stays the same. What would you change if you could? All right. As we grow and we move, things always change. So that Eight of Cups reminds us to be grateful, reminds us nothing stays the same. But it is sometimes considered in many decks to be the wish card. So be grateful. You have a lot going on. Even if there's some things present that you're not so crazy about, still be grateful for what is underneath it all. So as we go to choose the cards, if you chose number one, now this is an interesting card to come up for all of us whenever it comes up, it's the tower. The tower is about sudden change. All right, so going back to that wish card, all right, maybe you can, with the change of your own mind, shift whatever energy is not working for you, especially in that hard energy. 
This can help you to do that. The tower is all about things changing. Look at the lighting bolt. Look at the tree, right? So sometimes people get a little worried when this card comes up. I don't. I like it. I welcome it because I know that underneath that, new things, greater and bigger, will come forward. All right? So if you chose number one, know that some sudden changes are coming around. All right? But... But be the master to this energy for yourself. Don't be a victim. Don't be a slave to it. Know that changes are coming up. When you're aware, like we talked about for tomorrow and Tuesday and Wednesday, when you're aware of the energy, that's where you can begin to shift. We're in that portal energy. I think this is a great card for that portal energy of the eclipses that we're in. All right. If you chose number two, this is the Ten of Wands. All right. Now, this card also sometimes comes up to represent some of that energy of tens or completion. All right, and this does look a little bit about like that conflicts in our lives, that chaos. So if you've been kind of stuck in a lot of old energy that just isn't working, done, done. Let this eclipse energy show you time to shift. All right, really important. Be grateful when this comes up for you because you can let it go. All right, it's also a little bit about that decluttering. We're coming around to the Chinese New Year. Perfect time to declutter. Wands is our passion. So sometimes you can also, our passions and our desires, sometimes you also can, you know, release that energy so that once you release it, new passions can come forward. Again, a perfect card right now, even though it can be a little bit of conflict and struggle, when we look to it and we welcome it, that's where shift comes. And again, in that eclipse season right now, that doorway that's opened, a good time to make those changes. Let that shit go. Let that stuff go, right? And then the third card that comes up to help us all with this is the high priestess, all right? This is being a master to your energy. Look at that. Being a master in knowing, knowing the mystery schools, right? Really important. But really this card also has to do with just being. It's not a huge action card, but it's one that carries that knowledge. So where can you carry the knowledge for yourself, for the inner guidance of who you are, for that seen and the unseen world? That's what the High Priestess represents. All right. I love the way they draw it in this particular deck. It's that tiger energy, but it's also the way it's looking and it's night and it's that feminine energy too. Be very powerful for that energy for yourself. Be those boundaries that you know, that feminine boundary. We're going to talk about that on the show on Wednesday as well. So the high priestess reminds us that be a master to the seen and the unseen as well. Be in that being energy, that deeper part of who you are. So as you go through this week, start out, remember, what are you grateful for? Take a moment, offer gratitude just for today. One of our Reiki principles, be grateful for all of that heart energy around you, that love, that abundance, that spiritual energy as well. All right. And know that changes are coming, shifts are coming, and now is the time to shift it. So I like to say be a master to that shift. Don't be a victim to it. Know that you can, and maybe it is a sudden change. Maybe you are going to go back and make some of those changes that you want. Now's the time. The universe will definitely support you right now. This is a card that reminds us to let go, right? We're done. The energy is finished. Some of that conflict, chaos is done. It's just done, it's done, it's done. No sense holding on to it. And if you do continue to hold on to it, you're going to create more struggle for yourself. All right, so where in your life can you let that go? All right, and again, as we said, the new Chinese New Year is coming in, the year of the earth dog. So some of this energy perfect for decluttering out, whether it's mental, spiritual, physical, or your emotional energy. All is really good. And of course, the beautiful high priestess comes in to remind us to be a master to our energy, the seen and the unseen, the earth, the moon, all of that energy. Go into that being, all right? That stillness phase, really, really important. All right, so I hope that helps you as you move through this week. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if it resonates with you, these cards, all right? Post below. If you want me to draw a card before we sign off, let me know. Otherwise, be sure and check out the Empowered Spirit Show on Wednesday. My guest is... Jacqueline Marie, we're going to be talking all about the energy of love, self-love, deep love, and how to really get into that energy. And feminine boundaries, really important. Really important knowing our own boundaries. All right. Take a deep inhale. All right, let's see. Before we go, Heidi says she would love a card. All right, Heidi, let's see what comes up for you. All right, I think you drew that one card, so the tower card. So the card that comes up here is the Sun of Pentacles. So this card is really about an earth energy card. All right, that young energy of being diligent, knowing your work, doing your work, right? Being sure to really be focused. Sometimes, though, don't forget to come up and look for air. Check out what's going on around, but it really is about discipline right now. Really being important to be disciplined. And as I like to say, be disciplined in your spiritual practice. Don't let that slide. No negotiations here. That's what my friend Tina always says, no negotiations. 
things. Really be important to do it. All right, Sean, let's get one for you, Dana, then Kenzie. Sean, Four of Pentacles. I love this card, all right? This is a great card of balance. This is a great card of money, right? Really keep that energy flowing, though. Don't hold on too tight. Let that energy flow, all right? Things are lining up for you. Look at the way it is, but don't forget to keep the energy flowing. Don't get stuck. Don't hold on too tight. Really important. I like that. All right, let's see. Dana. Hey, Dana. Dana, I don't know if I know you, but welcome here. Dana, Strength card. Love this card, all right? This represents so many things. Look at the rose in the mouth of that lion, right? Roar, but also... Also, don't forget to find that inner strength as well. Both sides of the coin. Look at that infinite possibilities. Have the strength to open up to that. Don't get caught in the fears. Have the strength to open up to the courage in your life. And as we are right now in this eclipse season, make those shifts. Make those changes. Have the courage to do that. The universe will reward your honesty, your vulnerability. Yes, it's okay. All right, beautiful card. I love the way this deck has that rose in the mouth of the lion. Really great card. All right, Kenzie, good to see you here too. Kenzie, I got the Son of Swords. All right, so the Son of Swords is kind of like that mental process, being really sharp in our mental process. Again, too, same energy, like kind of like with the Pentacles. Don't forget to come up and look at the bigger picture, but really hone in on some of those details. But don't get too overly critical. All right, Dana, you're welcome. All right, it's important that we look at details, but sometimes when we get too picky, too much in there, we forget the bigger picture. So don't forget to look up for that. But yes, hone in. Look how he, look how he's just like really focused in. But this is on the mental plane, whereas the other, the pentacles, is on the earth plane. All right? But just be careful. Don't get too much into the mind. Really important. Hey, hey, how are you? All right, beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Dana, for joining us. Jane, I don't know if you're in a empowered spirit uh, circle on Facebook, but would love to have you there. All right, A, I'm going to draw one for you. I know you didn't ask, but why not? We missed you this weekend. All right, here we go. Oh, I love this card. This is that nine of um, wands. I love this. Everything is leading up to a great place for you. I love this card for you. Look at that. Lead those steps up. It's a nine. There's a little bit more coming. You know that, right? Just open up to it. Don't let the fears get in your way. Open up to those passions and desires. Very cool. Yes, thanks. You are welcome. Beautiful card for you right now. I love the way it's leading up. Passions, desires, that moon energy. Still some more to come for you. Beautiful. All right, guys, we have a great week coming up. All right, we have a really, it's a good week to be productive. The week after, a little intense, but next week is a really good week to build the energy we've started, to come into that deeper part of love, right? Where here we are in February. Co-create, co-create with spirit. Have that spiritual partnership with yourself, with that deeper part as you open up to the higher consciousness of who you are. Join me, listen in to the Empowered Spirit Show on Wednesday. Subscribe, leave me some comments. Come on over to the group. All right, have a great week. Share this out with anybody else you know that may need some extra loving and light in their life. To your spirit, namaste.